seven hours, no sleep. And now we are officially in the Queen's Terminal, guys. The Queen's Terminal. We made it to the United Kingdom. Hey everyone, Joel Anse here, and today we are in the United Kingdom in Milton Keynes. Milton Keynes, I believe that's the correct pronunciation, outside Namji. Namji, which is traditional Punjabi food, so super excited about that. So guys, today we're here doing a spicy challenge. So this is called their Pataka Chili Challenge. This is the challenge they do um, like every couple months, like kind of as an event, uh, whereas like you sign up, you go on in, and if you complete the challenge, you actually win free uh, curry for a month, which is pretty dang cool. Um, besides that, it is actually free traditionally to enter on one of the event days. Again, so it's kind of like a fun thing to do. That being said, it is not one of their event days, but they are going to offer it to me especially, so I'm super excited about that. Ultimately though, it is not going to be a free curry for a month. I couldn't use it anyway, but they're going to offer me the meal for free if we can complete it. So the rules of the challenge is going to be a curry made with Carolina Reapers. Yes, Carolina Reapers. We then have a one of their uh, house-made non breads. They have literally a like tandoor. Everything looks really really good um, and then a portion of their rice as well it is a spicy rice so yeah we're only gonna have five minutes to complete the challenge it's going to be pretty cool uh, but that guys that's about it so we're going for our first win hopefully we'll get it five minutes spicy 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 curry carolina reapers a little scary so that let's head in let's have fun all right, everybody, so here we are with the challenge, guys. Not gonna lie, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. Uh, let's just say they really spice the food here. And like I said, Carolina Reapers, guys, those are no joke. So the spiciest, it's the spiciest curry in the United Kingdom right here, guys. The Pataka Chili Challenge. So again, five minutes, we do have to eat the curry. We have to eat the naan made in the uh, tandoor, nice and fresh. And then we have the Palau rice which is actually made with green chili. So this is a spicy rice with the naan and then the spicy, spicy, spicy curry. So again, we do have to complete all this in the five minute time limit. No water, no nothing, but really cool prize. Um, so pretty much let's get a rockin' and a rollin'. Let's say at the count of maybe five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's hot. Okay. Woo! I didn't expect the rice to be spicy. But it's not hot. Mm. The temperature is hot too. Okay. I'm gonna have to hurry up. There's not a lot of time. Um. Hey everyone, welcome to Zero Today. We're here taking on what is some of the hottest curry in the United Kingdom. So this was a really, 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 uh, well, I'll just put it this way. This was a challenge I, my strategy definitely failed me for. I knew it was gonna be spicy, and we had the curry, the rice, and the naan, and so I figured like eating the rice first would be good. I thought it was not spicy. Turned out it was quite like a lot spicier than I anticipated. Spicy hot. Oh my god. Whew. Oh, I got the hiccups. Uh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, whew. 
I was also running on no sleep for about 30 hours, so you'll note that I might say oh my gosh a lot, but I was pretty fried. Then as you couldn't have any liquid and I was eating just the rice, I should have thought about that, right? So although I was trying to like eat the less spicy things first, I kind of needed to use the curry for the moisture anyway, and let's just say my strategy was really, really bad. Um, and I knew we were going to be into trouble pretty much like uh, very much a minute in. One thing I will say, for a very spicy challenge, man, did they uh, definitely have good flavors. Woo! Guys, that's some kick. The coconut's a great flavor, but oh my gosh. And that's what I love about Punjabi and Indian, for example, is just they put so many spices, so many flavors all in this. And what was really unique about this kitchen is they made everything to order. So like nothing was batch cooked. So like they literally cooked up this crazy dish on the spot, just like anything else you'd order on the menu. Isn't that curry? Get the naan bread down, Chef need it. I would also really encourage you, if you think you can do spice, to participate in the event when they do it. Oh. That is hot. As kind of as described earlier, this contest is, or like this challenge is basically like a contest. So you can enter, it is free, and the chance to win, you know, lots of free curry. Um, today I was just going for the free meal, but hey, nonetheless, if you live locally, you might as well give it a shot. And I'm running out of time. One thing is for sure, you can never eat spicy food in an empty stomach, so I did get to try a few other items uh, at this place, which we'll show you after the video. The crazy thing with it is like, everything is hot. Mm. Ah. Last thing I'll mention and I really enjoyed is that it was a curry with Carolina Reapers, not Carolina Reapers with curry, if you know what I'm saying. So although it was very, very spicy, it was still intended to be eaten, unlike some challenges out there. So huge kudos to them for doing, you know, and making it reasonable. Ooh, oh my gosh. Ah, all right, Woo. oh my gosh, oh, ah, uh. Okay, we are done. All right, first off, I need some napkins. I feel like I have a, uh, I'm surprised how much I heat it up. Like, my body temperature is very, very, very hot right now. My mouth is absolutely torched right now. It is so hot through here right now. I think I need a drink. Oh. Yeah, that's really actually, that is really hot. And it's actually not getting better. It's kind of building a little bit. Uh, hold on a sec. Excuse me. Excuse me, my friend. Excuse me. Can I get a couple of napkins? napkins yeah, and uh, and I'll take one of those uh, mango, mango lassies. Yeah, yeah, that's a good call. They recommended that before, and I was like, no, I don't think, I don't think. But now I really need it, guys. Like my lips are just like, they feel swollen. Oh my god, they're huge. Uh huh. Wow, it looks like a lip injection. Holy crap. There you go, guys. You don't even need, uh, don't even need lip injections. Just eat this freaking curry. Woo. All right, guys. Anyway, so with that we are the. Uh, Man, it's not a, I keep kind of taking a breath and I'm like, okay, it's better. And then as soon as I exhale, it comes back. But uh, all around the lips, for sure. Down in my gut, for sure. My mouth is, uh, my mouth has subsided every tiny little bit. Thank you, my friend. Like in my mouth and throat. But man, I feel like where it's on my face, look at it, you can see the yellow, like the oil or whatever. Where well, I was adhered to my face. Excuse me. Ooh, little, little, that was spicy. Oh, that was spicy. Little. 
Oh, okay, really hot. Anyway, thank you, my friend. Okay, guys, mango lassi. This is a this is a very uh, signature drink. Mango. It's yogurt. This should probably help the side a little bit. I actually think I might go wash my face though. That's kind of what's going on. Like I'm, I'm burning so bad and here, here is really, really, really bad. Oof. Mango lassi is very good though. Oof. Anyway guys, so huge thanks to everybody here guys. Very, very delicious. And very spicy. Oh guys, I keep getting these like, I keep getting these spicy burps and they are not, they're, they're hot. They're very hot. Anyway, the cool thing about this though guys is I can speak to the rest of their food. They're very, very delicious. I loved all the dishes earlier. The chicken tikka was absolutely to die for. And the, uh, oh man, it's not going away. So definitely check that out guys. That was absolutely enjoyable. This one was, oh, it still had a nice flavor. I tasted the coconut in it. But man, when I started to get it, that was really hot. It's the hottest or some of the hottest curry in the United Kingdom. So yeah, well, this is our first food challenge in the United Kingdom. Our first food challenge with the United Kingdom. Um, I mean, like I said, normally you get free curry for a month, which is pretty dang cool. Obviously, I won't be around and take advantage of that. But with that, everyone, until next time, hope you enjoyed the uh, video. Uh, that, until next time, of course, they have the hungry, happy eating. Definitely check out these scenes right now. We're going to talk about this food. Everything here was absolutely amazing. Two locations, must stop. So, everybody, uh, until next time, I'm going to go wash my face because I still, for some reason, feel like I have lip and, like, my lip is swollen and it's just burning so and i'm gonna go wash my face guys until next time i appreciate you and that watch me eat everybody so here with all the dishes guys it looks absolutely delicious so we're talking real authentic punjabi food like made just like you're in a home kitchen so i'm here with my good friend adi adi is actually the uh owner's son and he very much knows these items so what a better you know gentleman than to introduce them to me so adi what do we have in front of us? I see this one is looks gorgeous. What is the color on that? Uh, that's called chicken tikka masala. Chicken tikka masala. See the yeah. cream on top. So that that's like tomato base, is it? Yeah, tomato base. Amazing. And, um, some lentils on top. For that. Lentils, nice. What about this one here? I see like cauliflower, coriander. Uh, that's uh, called gobi gosh. It's my gram grandpa's favorite. Grandpa's favorite. Well, if the grandpa's favorite, we know it has to be good. And what was the name of it again? Uh, gobi gosh. Gobi gosh. Yeah. I'm gonna to try to remember that. Awesome. Now this one, I know that is the chili chicken. Is that right? Yeah. What's the full name of that? Uh, Sam's chili chicken. Sam's chili chicken. And is Sam your dad? Uh, that's my uh, auntie. Your aunt. Okay, perfect. And what do we have in here? I see peppers. Obviously, loads and loads of chilies on here. Yeah. Um, so like the chicken is like covered in like a sweet kind of. Okay. Sauce, so sweet chili. Sweet, sweet and spicy. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. What about this one back here, that's my friend? That's butter chicken. Butter chicken. Yeah. That's your favorite, right? Yeah. So what's the what's the name on the menu? Because this is actually named after you, right? Yeah, it's uh, Adi's chicken macaroni. I love it. I love it. So I'm super excited to try that. I do love butter chicken. And what about this one right here? That's uh, coconut prawn. Coconut prawns, guys. I love coconut. That was one I was very very excited for. It looks absolutely delicious. I can see all the prawns and shrimp in here. Oh, it smells so good. Um, we also have a little fresh salad here. And what are these right here, my friend? There's a uh, onion and potato budgies. Budgies? Budgies, yeah. And what is it? It looks like a, it's like a pakora kind of thing? Yeah, it's like a pakora. Like a pakora. All right, sweet. Well, hey, my friend, thank you so much for walking me through this. Uh, I mean, hey, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have dinner another time, you know? Oh, and, and the naan bread that you guys make in the tandoor are back, right? Yeah. So, guys, this looks awesome. I'm super excited. And uh, so let's get in here. Let's get started just momentarily. This just smells so good. I love flavors. And Punjabi, guys, we have the king of flavored cuisines, like strong, like spices. Not spicy necessarily, but spices. But I did get them to make these dishes a bit spiced up for me because I do love that. I have some of their fresh made naan as well. This is actually made right in the tandoor back. I'll show you that right now how that's made. I haven't eaten all day. I had a long flight. I didn't sleep last night. 
so this is the place to start. All right, guys, let's try the chicken tikka. We have beautiful cream sauce. Look at that beautiful looking chicken, coriander on top. I'm just gonna give this a bite and then I can try everything with the naan, but here we go, guys, rock and roll. Oh my gosh, garam masala. I asked them to make these like spiced for me, like spiced up. Man, that is good. That cream, it is so savory. Guys, I mean, I, I got, I gotta, we're just patting our stomach for that spicy challenge. Mm. I'm having a hard time not eating all this. That chicken is so tender. Try with the naan, gotta try with the naan. I know that's, people are very strongly opinion about the naan. I also could've got rice, I opted for not rice. Mm. Okay, that was so good. That warm naan bread, fluffy, pillowy. That is delicious. And I like this because I have this as like a uh, palate cleanser. Chicken tikka, bomb. So then we have these onion bhaji. So this is an app um, with like onions. I think it is, actually, it looks like maybe green onions, red onions, maybe some potatoes or something. And it looks really good. Let's give this a shot. Wow, interesting. There's a nice crisp to it. It's quite mildly flavored. I got a really nice like kind of curry flavor for it. I like it. I have this little uh, sauce here. I give it a little dip. Creamy. What's that flavor? Maybe cilantro? Really good. Interesting. All right, but let's get the rest of these before they cool off. Here we have the Gobi Gosh. So this is the uh, kind of lamb and cauliflower dish here. I love cauliflower. I like lamb. Let's give this a shot. Now this looks so spiced and so like cooked and thick down. You can like cook down like the thickened sauce and curry. I have never tasted anything like that. Mm. It is, has a really, wow. Guys, they made this, ooh. I asked them to kick this up. They made this pretty dang spicy, which is what you can do because they make everything to order. There's no batch cooking. Like they don't make like a big pot of butter chicken for the day. It's literally all done batch per batch. So what is so cool about this, like I said, they made this really spicy for me. I'm actually like, if this is what they consider spiced up, I'm really nervous for this challenge. That's gonna be really spicy. But the, only, the, the cauliflower is cooked like al dente. The lamb, it's a beautiful tasting lamb. It's not gamey. It is super soft, super succulent. We have some like green onions in there. That cauliflower, that is spicy. But man, mm. oh, that was a beautiful bite of lamb there. Here, I better try this with the, uh, I better try with this naan bread. That bread, it curves the, the richness of that oil. Mm. And all that oil, that like, oil in there, I can tell it's accentuating that heat. But man, that is delicious. I definitely gonna cleanse my palate that one. I might need to let my, uh, Mouth cooled down a bit from that one. All right, I had some more of that. My mouth is now just burning, guys. Great spice, great flavor though. Like that's the bi biggest thing, even though it's spicy. Guys, there's so much flavor in that. We have the coconut prawns, chili chicken, and then the butter chicken, Addie's favorite. I definitely want something a little, uh, maybe not so spicy, creamy after that. So let's try this butter chicken, guys. This looks great. And they, one thing they really do, they really emphasize just like natural food the way it's supposed to be. So it's not, um, like don't use colors or anything. So this is just these beautiful flavors, the beautiful everything we have here. Oh, so good. I gotta say, the flavors on the chicken tikka, on the, the lamb there is just like, like what, what are some of the spices in the lamb? Because like they were just so, like so in depth. There's so many. Yeah. I was, cinnamon, cardamom, cinnamon, cardamom, yeah, I was trying to like name like cloves, I have black pepper. cloves, yeah, like they're in cloves, that's the flavor I was trying to place. Guys, thank you so much. Butter chicken, I'm pumped. Mm. So beautiful chunks of chicken. What I'm really getting with this, I guess you get a bit more like a, a actual curry flavor. This is hot though. You guys got some good heat in that. They yeah. definitely spice this up. Try this on the naan. This looks so good, guys. It's actually no other butter chicken I've had before. It's I really get a, like a curry forward taste, which I definitely like. 
Really, really good. Never such a, 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 a curry forward butter chicken. But man, they spice this up. Delicious. But guys, like I said, this is like spiced up. Coconut prawns, chili chicken, guys. Let's try this coconut prawns. So I love coconut. I saw them uh, you know, making this. They used like real coconut milk. Bro, oh, and I smell that coconut. That coconut curry, there's something with that combination. The flavor of that coconut in there. It is so amazing. I love the flavors of coconut in curries. It is literally one of my favorite like dishes. We have some cream in there, definitely. But that, and like, man, that. Mm. Those shrimp, too. All right. I basically ate all the shrimp already. The amount of spice they put in there is definitely, I'm feeling it, but it is so delectable. We got a little bump, hope that's okay. I love this shrimp dish. The coconut in there, like I said, is just an absolute game changer. So no, no, I didn't get rice, but this would be really, really good over rice. So maybe I'll have to get some, or I'm gonna have to come back. But so far, so flavorful. Uh, just the depth of that coconut. Last but not least, guys, the chili chicken. And I'm sure this is going to be spicy. I see so many chilies in here, but I'm excited. Like they said, it's like sweet. And that's what the coconut uh, also gives, that coconut prawn, it's nice sweetness. Give it a go, definitely nice to cook down. Like... Mm. All right, the peppers in here, those cooked peppers, sweet, nice crunch. Mm. The condensed sauce on that chicken. I taste the, the chili flake. Beautiful red, red, red chilies. This is definitely non-worthy as well. Let's give this a bite. Another dish, which the oil and it just accentuates that heat, bringing out those robust flavors. But the, he's right about the sauce. The sauce is sweet, and then the sweetness of those bell peppers. That's pretty much about that. I tell you, you definitely got warmer with the heat. Literally, pun no pun intended. Warm up with the heat. But that, let's get to the actual curry challenge. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much, you rock.